own one of these machines or you're looking at buying one of them, um, I want to give you guys just of what they are used for, what, what people um, use them for most. Um, starting with ATV, ATV, sidewalks, driveways, um, you know, limited storage on the back and front, um, shovel bracket right here on my, this is at least my machine, um, every machine is different. Um, so, you know, less tie down points than the UTV will have. UTV, you got a dump bed, um, you can enclose them, you can not enclose them, you can add a heat. Um, ATV, you can't add heat to, um, so you're out in the open. Um, UTV plows, uh, usually a lot bigger, the stance is wider on them. Um, they won't fit on most sidewalks, you know, standard sidewalks. Um, but some bigger sidewalks they work great for. Um, usually have a bigger plow on it, uh, push more snow, heavier, uh, able to push more because the, the weight. Um, a bobcat, you can put multiple attachments on, snowblower, pusher, um, you know, side shove, whatever you want to put on it. Um, we put some snow tires on this one. Um, quick attach bob tack, so these, you can stay in the cab and then um, these go up and down just for the push of a button. Um, the thing you have to get out for, only thing you have to get out for is the hydraulics. Um, if you don't have a hydraulics on it, then you can just stay inside the whole time. Um, as for, you can, you know, you can put a bucket on here to move snow into the dump truck to get the snow out of there. Uh, on a site, if you're, um, wherever you're, you know, wherever your site is, if they need to move snow out of the area, you put a bucket on that, haul it out. The reason most people use a truck is because you drive to a location, you drop your plow, you go. Um, with all these other ones, you have to trailer them. Um, Bobcat takes a trailer, tie downs, takes time to unload it, load it, um, go to the next site. Um, if, you're in one, if you're in one area, um, you know, a subdivision, it's great if you only have to go uh, load and unload a couple times. Um, as for the ATV UTV, again, you have to trailer them maybe, maybe you don't. Um, this owner of this one, thank you for letting me borrow it, um, he just has it at his house in his garage, pulls it out, pulls it in, um, no trailing needed, just he just does his house. So, um, really nice machine for him, he does the job, um, it's all he needs, doesn't need enclosed, any of that. Um, so just another thing to take into account, trailering, not trailering. It's the reason people love the truck is you drop it, you go, you make your money, you go to place to place, you're heated, you're nice, you're cool, you have a huge bed in the back, depending on the truck you have. Um, to throw snow blowers, ice melt, um, picks, you know, whatever you need in the back of there. If you want something enclosed, you're, you're going to have to go to an ATV, sorry, UTV, Bobcat, or a truck, or something else. Um, ATV is mainly, you're just sitting on the machine out in the open, so bundle up. I think it's like two or three years ago, Boss came out with the V-Plow. I know other brands have had V-Plows. Uh, I just use the Boss because that's what's available to me where I live. Um, I love the plow. It's been great for a uh, season going on the second season we'll see how it does uh, it's my original blade it's got probably a half season left in it um, I don't know what this brand of plow is I'll put it in the description below um, the owner of this one doesn't need scooping v-plow he doesn't need that um, and also the the weight of the the v-plow um, he needed something a little lighter put away in storage you know um, and this one's angled um, tons of options he opted to do, the most common thing you'll see on a plow at least, is uh, a winch mounted. So up and down, it'll pull the, um, the plow up and down. Um, the owner of this one decided to put a hydraulic uh, on his to uh, move it left and right. Um, you have to really check on whatever bracket you want to get and plow brand you want to do. If they offer a piece to do a hydraulic setup on it. Um, so do your research before. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, a nice thing about his as well, um, he has the winch button here, but then also he can adjust the hydraulic here and then also the winch. So he bypassed that, which is really nice. And um, I really like that. Uh, he has a windshield in the front, uh, keep the snow out of the face, uh, dump bed. Um, the skidster is the only one that you can't really put anything on the back. Um, you can put a shovel on the side and some of the other things. Um, you can't really carry ice melt or any of that. Uh, unless you have the new Bob cat or sorry boss whatever it is it's, it's kind of everyone has their own opinion on it but um, so no bed in the back of that and then also the ATV doesn't really have a bed but it's got places to you know store a five gallon bucket and um, other other things that you you know could travel with also I've seen people put um, things on their hitches for the ATVs um, if you need more room, space, um, they make attachments for that. You can have something custom made if you need on your specific machine to, um, you know, accommodate whatever you need. So I highly recommend if you own a machine, put a plow on it, try it, see what you think, and then go from there. Um, what I've learned is if I don't want to freeze my ass off, go to UTV and then close it. Um, but what I found out with that, uh, if you buy new, they're twenty, thirty thousand dollars with a plow to get enclosed, enclosed, at least for an Polaris enclosed everything ready to go. 
Um, they're like 25 and then add 4,000 on for a, a boss plow at least, boss V plow six by six. Um, so you're, you're pushing about 30. Um, so it's probably a better idea to go used, but then I know some people don't like to go used and just, just want to give you guys an idea of pricing. So um, this setup all brand new with a new plow just like that would be, uh, I want to say nine to 12 for the machine, depending on what you get. And then 3,000 for the plow. The boss uh, plow right there is 3,000 to step up to a boss UTV plow is 4,000. Um, that's with setup and all that uh, installation and all that included. Um, depending on your boss dealer, prices change all the time. For the price of a UTV or ATV, uh, you can basically get a truck plow. And if you already have the truck, then it's cheaper to do that and put it on your truck than get something else. Most people that own a Bobcat, they've already dealt with that price. They use it in the summer contracting. You know, they're just trying to make some money in the winter. So they just throw a, a plow on it and go for there. Go for that. Uh, the Bobcat is just a great machine for turning on a dime 360, turning around, scooping. I mean, it, it's if you if you can deal with the trailering and the time it takes to trailer a Bobcat, as compared to just dropping your plow and going on the truck, the Bobcat's a great option. It gets a lot of work done. It's meant for hard work. Um, it, it's it's just it's a fun experience too. Um, so a lot of people think that clowns just you wake up early, you know, you do your work, and it's just. Ex you know, it doesn't look fun, but you know, you can actually add, if you make it fun, um, you can make some good money and then have some fun while doing it. So that's a great, that's a great option for um, making money, getting your, getting some work done, plowing the driveway, you know, making it easy for your wife to get in the driveway. So um, sorry I'm rambling on here, but if you guys have any questions, please hit below. Um, happy to show you guys anything you guys want on these. I have uh, access to these and I can show you guys anything you guys want to know or see on them. Um, but I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, hit below. I'll be happy to answer as quick as I can. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.